Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, today we are going to be making some air fryer tandoori chicken. I'm also going to be showing you how I make the most delicious air fryer roast potatoes. Honestly, they are so, so crispy on the outside and so fluffy and delicious on the inside. So I ended up making a whole meal. So I wanted to share exactly how I do it all. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I did these gorgeous air fryer tandoori chicken. Then we do some roast potatoes. I made some jollof seasoned rice. I made some side salad and some homemade tzatziki as well. So if you are a regular, you know by now that I love my air fryer. So I have the Ninja Dual Zone Air Fryer. It's a nine and a half litre and I use it all the time. I just make so many different types of foods in there. And honestly, I'm so glad that I bought it when I did. So I just want to say there are quite a few ingredients when it comes to marinating this chicken. But don't worry, I'm going to link everything in the description box below. So you can head over there for all the measurements and the ingredients if you do want to recreate this recipe. And a lot of you have been commenting saying that you have finally got hold of the Ninja Dual Zone Air Fryer. So I'm so happy that you finally got a hold of it and I really hope that my videos really help you out to get to know your air fryer and what types of foods can be cooked in there. So if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. It honestly really helps me out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I think we'll get straight into today's video. So I'm starting off with the chicken. I've got some chicken drumsticks here and now I am going to season. So there's a lot of seasoning, lots of herbs and spices going into this. So um, I'm not going to list every single one, but it includes things like coriander powder, cumin powder, tikka paste, yogurt, oil, salt, chili powder, turmeric, and so on. There's just so many that go into it, but honestly, don't worry. I've left all the ingredients and measurements down below so you can follow along if you want to recreate this recipe. Okay, so now I have added all the ingredients. I've popped on some gloves and I am just going to rub all of that marinade into the chicken really well. So you just want to give it a really good mix. And once the chicken is well coated, I'm actually going to cover this with some cling film and I'm going to leave it in the fridge just for a while until I prepare a few other things. So now I'm going to move on to the potatoes. So I've just got some um, white potatoes here. I'm just going to start by peeling them, giving them a really good rinse. And then I am going to cut them into quarters because these potatoes were quite small. They're not too big. Of course, if they are bigger, you can cut them into smaller pieces, but this size is perfect for me. So I'm going to cut them all up and then I'm going to pop them into a saucepan, cover them with some boiling water. And then I'm actually going to boil these potatoes for around 10 minutes until they are nice and soft. So like I mentioned in the introduction, I am going to be making some rice to go along with this meal. So I'm taking two cups of rice, which I am going to wash really, really well. And then we are going to start on how to make this. So I am chopping up um, into small pieces a medium onion. And then I have sprayed my pan with a little bit of spray oil. I'm going to add the onions straight in. Then we are just going to cook these on medium heat for around five minutes until they have browned slightly. And once the onions are a little bit brown, I'm going to add in the jollof seasoning. 
Now you can find this seasoning in most supermarkets. I'm just going to give that a quick mix around and then I'm going to add in a little bit of boiling water. Continue to mix this for a couple of minutes. Now I'm just going to season with a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to continue mixing for another one to two minutes and then I'm going to add in the water. So because I am making two measuring cups of rice, we are going to add four cups of water. So you want to double it. Um, and then I'm going to wait for the water to come to a boil. Then I'll add in the rice that has been um, soaking. It's been drained now. Um, now give everything a stir and we're going to wait for this to come to a boil again then we are just going to pop the lid on and we're going to simmer the rice for around 20 to 25 minutes on low heat until it is completely done okay so now i'm just taking one of the baskets in the air fryer and i've removed the little tray at the bottom i'm just putting in around 40 grams of unsalted butter and i'm going to um, turn this on to the air fry option and i'm literally going to turn it on for five minutes just to give it time for the butter to melt and now with basket number two, I'm going to add in my chicken drumsticks. So I'm going to cook around five a time um, because we don't want to overcrowd the air fryer. And here is the basket number one where the butter has melted. And I'm just going to add in my boiled potatoes right in. And then I'm going to season with some roast potato seasoning. I did add a generous amount. And then I'm just going to give it a quick toss, a quick shake. Make sure those potatoes are well coated. And now it's time to cook. So basket number one for the roast potatoes. I'm choosing the roast option at 190 degrees Celsius. And I put these on for 30 minutes because I like my potatoes really nice and crispy on the outside. So that's basket number one. Then for basket number two, I'm choosing the roast option again at 190 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to start by cooking these for 15 minutes. Then we'll come back and flip them over. So in the meantime, I thought I would make my tzatziki sauce. I absolutely love this sauce. It's one of my faves. So I've got some cucumber here that I'm just going to cut into small pieces. And then I'm going to take a bowl. I'm going to add in some Greek yogurt. I would say around four tablespoons. Then I've also got some cloves of garlic. I've got around five here. I like garlic. You can add less if you're not too keen. Then I'm also adding in some dried mint, a generous amount. Um, and then I'm also going to season with a little bit of salt. Then add in those cucumbers that we just cut up and then just give everything a really good mix. And that is your tzatziki sauce completely ready. So just set this aside until we need it. Now back to the air fryer, so the 15 minutes are up and this is what the chicken is looking like. So I'm just going to carefully turn them over and then I'm also going to brush the other side with some more of that marinade that I had left over. So I'm going to pop this back into the air fryer again on the roast option at 190 degrees Celsius and this time we're just going to pop them in for 6 minutes to finish cooking. And in the meantime, I chopped up some veggies and some salad. So I've got some green pepper, red onion, tomato and lettuce. And I'm just going to pop that into a bowl, give it a mix around and my side salad is ready. And at this point, all the food was cooked. So I just set it all out on a huge round plate. And all I can say, guys, is this meal was absolutely delicious to die for. The chicken was really tender and juicy on the inside. The potatoes were so crispy on the outside, yet so, so fluffy and soft on the inside. Um, the rice is under there somewhere. And then, of course, I've got the tzatziki right in the middle. So I hope you enjoyed it. So there you have it guys, that is today's video. I really hope you enjoyed today's recipe because I know it's a bit of a long one, 
There's a lot going on, but I promise you it was so, so delicious. I honestly want to make it again really soon. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did again, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and leave some comments down below. Just give me some feedback. We can always have a chat down there if you've got any ideas on things you would like me to make. Don't forget to leave all your suggestions down below and check out my other videos as well because I have so many on air fryer recipes. Um, and that's it guys. I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.